Hundreds of tourism professionals from all over the world have assembled here in the capital for the 31st session of the Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association's Travel Marketplace. Prime Minister Perry Christie officially opened the session now underway at the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island. It's the second consecutive year the country is hosting Caribbean Marketplace, which has brought more than 1,200 delegates to the Bahamas. And aside from the traditional supporters, for the first time, the event has attracted buyers from Belgium, France, Switzerland, and Poland. Caribbean Hotel and Tourism Association President Richard Dumang says he's optimistic about the future of the Caribbean. We are still very proud of the numbers and the support and the participation of our partners, both our tour operators, our allied members, and our strategic partners. We are on pace to surpass our numbers here at Atlantis of last year. We have scheduled, I believe, over 15,000 business appointments will be transacted during the course of the next two days. And all the challenges are great, so are the opportunities. Keynote speaker Prime Minister Perry Christie challenged industry professionals to look seriously at a number of issues currently facing the region. But chief among the Prime Minister's concerns was the scourge of crime that has had a seemingly hazardous grip on the region. And at all costs, we must avoid these people who have a total, total disregard for human civility, a disregard for human life a disregard for the implication of violence to, to our national good. We must not compromise in this area because we will live to regret it. The Prime Minister and others described the tourism industry as a value-driven marketplace causing countries in the region to remain on the competitive edge. And considering this, the Bahamas is doing all it can to attract more visitors by offering more value for their dollar. He advised regional counterparts to do the same. Another pressing issue the Prime Minister highlighted is the costly and inadequate transportation services provided by national, regional and international airlines. Notwithstanding the current challenging economic times, we shall have to be resolute, we shall have to be creative in finding workable solutions in providing efficient and affordable airlift into as many markets as possible. 